It's time to talk weather now, one of my favourite parts of the day with one of my favourite people, Carol Kirkwood. Good morning. Thank you. And I go right back at you as well. Um, except you're not going to be one of my favourite people <laughs> when you give us today's forecast because... Thunderstorms are on the forecast for some of us, but not everyone. First of all, I want to take you over to some eastern and southern parts of Europe. Looks good. It does. We've been talking about persistent heat here for the last week. While once again today, we've got red heat warnings out. That is the highest level of warning, and temperatures generally have been around the high 30s mark. So it's pretty hot by day, mm. and it's also pretty hot by night as well. Now, as we move over towards western parts of Europe, that's a dry heat we've just been talking about. This is a moist heat. We've got this area of low pressure which has been tracking northwards. It's taken a lot of thundery downpours with it. There's been flash flooding associated with it, actually, as far south as Morocco. And, as you rightly said, Naga, it's coming our way into southern counties. Some of us already have that. But, you know, it's very difficult to forecast exactly where those thunderstorms will develop. Now, the next chart I'm going to show you has got flash images in it and they'll be with okay. us for a little while so if you have a look at that you can see quite nicely where we've had the thunderstorms through the course of this morning already and see how disjointed they are it's not a full line of thunderstorms coming our way part of the reason for that is where we've got the yellows and the greens that's indicating some big heavy downpours so they're sucking up all the energy into the atmosphere it then goes bang with a the thunderstorm thereby taking some of the energy out from some of the other showers so they're not as heavy and all of this is going to be moving steadily northwards through the day are these going to be short short sharp thunderstorms and uh, the, the you know you, you, you feel it comes over you think the whole the buckets are emptying on top of you yeah. and then all of a sudden as quickly as they come they go well they can last up to half an hour and some of those are slow moving as well because there's not very very strong winds to right. blow them along but did you know that Thunderstorms tend to happen where it's hot and humid and around the globe it's estimated that somewhere we'll have about 44 strikes or around the globe 44 strikes every second so we shouldn't feel so bad. <laughs> it's happening to someone. It's happening to at least 43 other people or yeah, 43 well other places exactly. somewhere else. Yeah. Although some places, of course, will see many more than that, as we may well do it's ourselves the south of England today. that's going to suffer the most today, I think. Yeah, it's travelling. I'll let you do the work. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> Naga. Well, what we're looking at today is just that combination. We've got thundery downpours. The Met Office has weather warnings out for this. If you catch one, it has the potential to be torrential. Now, they are going to be moving steadily northwards through the course of the day. They are hit and miss. Not all of us will see them, but there's a lot of cloud associated with them. Whereas for Northern England, for Scotland and for Northern Ireland, you're going to have a beautiful day, light winds, sunny spells and higher temperatures than you've had of late. So even into the afternoon, we still will have the thunderstorms with us. A lot of cloud where it's dry and again, hit and miss. It's going to feel really muggy around those thunderstorms as well. Drifting into Wales, you can see that we've got the rain pushing northwards. Not in North Wales at this stage, not in Northern England either at this stage, but the cloud will continue to build after a sunny start for you. And for Northern Ireland, well, you're off to a great start and it's going to carry on like this as we go through the day with sunny spells. Much of Scotland seeing some sunshine, temperatures higher than they have been of late. Although northwest Scotland prone to a bit more cloud, that in turn could produce an isolated shower. And across northern England, all the time the cloud will be building from the south. But in the far north of England, well, it's looking like you're going to have a pretty fine day as well. So through the evening and overnight, there go the thunderstorms. They're going to come up this east coast, pushing northwards. They'll be heavy. Meanwhile, we've got persistent rain moving across other parts of England, Wales and into Scotland. That will be heavy. But for Northern Ireland and for the rest of Scotland, well, we're looking at a, a quieter night with a lot of cloud in just a few showers. Tomorrow, we start off still with all this rain across much of the UK, except for Northern Ireland. The rain moving across England and Wales is going to be a fairly weak, weaker feature compared to what we're looking at today. Still muggy around it, but it will be heavy and persistent across Scotland. Northern Ireland, well, fine day in prospect once again for you. Sunshine, just a few showers, and through the day too, you'll find across Wales and the southwest of England, it is going to brighten up. Here too, feeling fresher, still muggy as we push into the southeastern corner. So how does that leave us for the weekend? Well, actually, the weekend isn't looking too bad at all. Fresher conditions, we lose the humidity, sunny spells, a few showers. At the moment, the showers look like they're going to be across parts of northwest Scotland and also southwest England. So if we take a quick look at what is happening on Saturday, 
You can see a lot of dry weather around, a fair bit of sunshine, some cloud bubbling up as we go through the course of the day. And we've got some showers coming in across parts of Scotland. They may fringe into parts of Northern Ireland as well. But temperatures between 14 and 21 Celsius.